The other side of the wind is the crazy picture. It's not a work of fiction, and it's a little of everything. It's kind of a departure in movie making. Orson Welles was the ultimate independent filmmaker. Somewhere between Zen master and God. No other director has been held up to such an impossible standard. Citizen Kane, the greatest motion picture ever made. Do you agree? No, certainly not. That's My next one is, though. Could you give us the title of that? I haven't decided what it is yet. Oh. <laughs> The other side of the wind, what is that? Orson Welles' last movie. Everything else I've ever done has been controlled, but I want to go further. It's the story of the last day of the director's life. The darling of Hollywood who fell out of favor. Wait a minute, that's Orson, is it? Orson, is that you? Everybody will think it's autobiographical, but it's not. Yeah, bullshit. Orson was such a perfectionist. Action! So I think we have ourselves a confrontation. But I fucked that up. Take 21. He was creating an environment where others would get sucked into it. <laughs> it was this circus of scattered souls. It's Orson, it'll be something. We were totally out of reality. And he said, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to promise me you'll finish the picture. No story has a happy ending, unless you stop telling it before it's over. Let us raise our cups to our crazy and beloved profession, to the movies. A lot of people want to see the other side of the wind get made. It is the greatest movie never released, the bookend to Citizen Kane. What did Orson really mean by it? What is its true form? Orson said, they'll love me when I'm dead.